Story, the voice of boxing with James Cosmo, celebrated actor from Braveheart, Game of Thrones. Great to see you. How are you doing? I'm very well, Glenn. Thank you. Lovely to be with you tonight at the St Andrews uh, Sporting Club uh, in Glasgow. We've just uh, been watching some boxing and a great Burns night, lots of haggis. Uh, so it's been really enjoyable. Looking forward to some more bouts coming. And boxing, up. boxing has been relevant in your in your life and within your family since you were young. Yeah, I'll, I'll, my 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 dad was a, a pugilist, um, not so often in the ring, but quite often outside. But funnily enough, as things skip a generation, I was a big Jesse when I was at school. But my son, who was lucky enough to go to a, a public school in England, um, discovered boxing when he was about 13. And from being a very overprivileged child, he, he learnt a great deal uh, uh, meeting boys um, who weren't in his, in his privileged position and learning what real humility was, what sportsmanship was, what uh, the brotherhood of boxers is like, and I think it was probably the biggest influence in his young life so far. We owe a great, myself and Ethan, my son, owe a great debt to boxing. Yeah. What was it that inspired you about boxing that, that, that maybe made you make so many great roles as a warrior. I mean, is there something about Scottish boxing or Scottish fighting or the, the warrior spirit? Yeah, I, I, th I think, you know, uh, you can take boxing, you can take um, some sports, maybe bullfighting. What, what boxing demonstrates, I believe, is it demonstrates to the, to the, to the, to the viewers, to the, to the fans. It says, this is how a man is. This is how to stand up and take your knocks and hand it out. But at the end of the day, you're gonna fall into each other's arms and, and usually appreciate the, the bravery uh, that they've displayed. And that's a very, very important message, I believe, for young men to learn, especially now in the days of political correctness and people being frightened to be masculine. There's nothing wrong in being masculine. There's a lot of good things about being masculine. It's what makes great leaders of industry, of the country. It's very important that we encourage that in young men because you don't get too many kids that go off the rails who belong to amateur boxing clubs. It makes their lives. As a fighting man, who are your heroes in boxing, James? Um, obviously, the, the great Marciano, 49 and 0. You can't argue with that. The one guy that fascinates me is Edwin Valero, um, who sadly uh, killed himself after a terrible tragedy. I thought he was something quite extraordinary, and it was a great loss to boxing. Um, he was a very troubled young man, but um, he, he, when you watch his fights, my goodness, it's like, it's like something else, you know? Um, so I, I love watching him, but also, you know, I, I love the stories of Harry Kreb, you know? I'll fight anyone, anywhere, for any purse. He would stand on your toe, he'd put his thumb in your eye. He was a real tough guy. Um, but that's one of the wonderful things about boxing is they are, the, 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 the game is so full of the most extraordinary characters. Because to be a professional boxer, you have to have character in spades. It takes an awful lot. I've never done it, I would never do it, but it takes an awful lot to step into that ring. It's great to hear your knowledge of boxing, great to hear your passion yeah. of boxing. Yeah. It's just an honor to talk to you. Thank you so much. Glenn, it's been my honor to meet you. I've been a great admirer of yours for many years. Thank you.